Hello viewer, welcome to Elimu TV, a TV station where you watch and learn. I want to welcome you to History and Government Lesson Form 1. Today we have Lesson 14 that we are going to study about the New Stone Age period, which is also known as Neolithic period. I will be your teacher, Mr. John Gatuma. Welcome. Hello viewer, uh, we have been looking at the early man, and uh, we are looking at the period in the early man. And this period in history, we looked at the Old Stone Age period, we also looked at the Middle Stone Age period, and today we, we are going to look at the New Stone Age period. But before that, in our previous lesson I gave you some assignment, and this is the expected answers for the same. So the question is, what are the characteristics of the Middle Stone Age period? What are the characteristics of Middle Stone Age period? One, man began to make a sharper tools from more than one material and this is the Ucherian tools the tools that he made was known as the Ucherian tools and we said this one was uh, was from uh, Valois method two invention and use of fire by homo erectus they uh, the homo erectus invented and used fire three there was communication and the communication was through the use of speech there was a communication through the use of speech and four, Homo erectus was a hunter and gatherer. So these are some of the features that characterize the Middle Stone Age period. In today's lesson, we are going to look at the New Stone Age period, which is also known as the Neolithic period. And this is a period in history that existed between 50,000 to 2,500 years ago. So in this period of history, we are calling the Middle Stone Age period, or the Neolithic period. It is also known as the Late Stone Age period. It is also known as the Late Stone Age period or the Upper Paleolithic. The reason why we are calling it uh, the Late Stone Age period because this is the one that came last because there were three periods. Uh, so it is associated with the Homo sapiens. It is associated with the Homo sapiens who, who was found extensively throughout the world. When we say Homo sapiens, remember we, this one we said is an intelligent man. This is a man that was found extensively throughout the world, ev almost everywhere. So there were many changes, there were many changes that occurred in this period of time, but we are going to look at them. But uh, before you look at these changes or the characteristics, you need to understand the Neolithic Revolution, because the Neolithic Revolution is the one that followed the Late Stone Age period. So Neolithic, the term Neolithic, the Neolithic come from the term uh, Neo, Neo means new, and Lithic, it means stone. So Neolithic period is the new Stone Age period. And we have said this is the time in history when the stones were made to make the tools and these ones were made for farming. So the, the period that came after Neolithic is a new Stone Age period was known as the Neolithic period. So we look at these changes, we look at the, the changes that occurred or the characteristics. This one came during the Homo sapiens. Homo sapiens, we said, is the one that was found extensively uh, throughout the world. And he began to make uh, the tools that were known as the microlith tools. He made the microlith tools. So he made the microlith tools. And these tools, uh, microlith, they are very small tools. These are very small tools. And these tools were made by pressing one stone against another to flake off small pieces of microlith. And uh, indeed they were fitted on glued into wood and bone handles to, uh, to be used together as tools. And these are tools that were fitted with wood. They were known as the composite tools. They were made the, they were known as the composite tools. So the microlith period, it comes from the term micro. Micro means small. Hence, these tools were small and well-defined. The tools that were small and well-defined are known as the microlith tools. So the industries uh, used to make these tools were called the Capsian industries. The Capsian industry. Uh, this was found in several parts of Africa. And the reason why it was found in several parts of Africa is because the Homo sapiens is one of the extensively found uh, species that ever existed. We look at the pictures of the microlith tools and the small tools. This is the pictures of the collected microlith tools that were found in the Capsian uh, industries. So these uh, examples, you can see them. 
um, but uh, when you fit these small and uh, refined tools, they are known as the composite. So the clear picture of the composite are tools that we said they are the small are tools that are joined together on wood. This is a uh, and none other than the seekers, the seekers, we have the picture of the seekers that was found in the capsian industry. Other micro tools or the small tools, they are the fishing harpoons. This is was used for fishing. You see uh, the picture, the composite tool. Another example of the composite tool, we have the saw braid. The saw braid was used to knit the cloth. It was used to knit the cloth and it was made of the bones, uh, the animal bones or even the wood. Another one we have the bone needle. The bone needle, this was used to knit the clothes or not for cutting. Uh, this is were made of bones. They were made of bones. Another example of the composite tool, we have the arrow heads. The arrow heads, these were, were fitted using the wood to make the axe or to make the arrow head or even the axe. So the arrowheads, they were many, and they were fitted on woods to, to become the composite. Other example, we have the knives and the daggers. The knives and the daggers made of stones in this period of time. And another picture of the knife or the daggers. Remember these one were used for either cutting or for the security reason. Another characteristics of this is the settlement. There were some settlement. And when you say the settlement, uh, this is when man lived in a village. Man lived in a village of about 100 people, a village of 100 people. He also decorated his house using the red ochre. And this is the early man uh, living in a village, uh, in a cave, and also under the rock uh, houses. So these houses were decorated using the red ochre. Other settlements were such as the one you see. They were made of the animal skin as well the roofs protect the direct radiation. The stones under the stone are cave. Other features that characterize this period of time, the late stone age period is the arts and craft. So man learned to make the baskets, pots and shaping clay makes necklaces, wall, wall painting, and also the decoration. Could also paint the, the wall, and also using the red ochre. You can see the red ochre for decoration purposes. Man also made the necklaces. I made the necklaces using the bones, and also the pots. He also made the pots using various methods of making pots. Other features, we have the rock painting. The rock painting was another feature, and on this uh, feature, Man painted animals' pictures he hunted on the wall, believing that these animal that he has created or he has uh, drawn on the wall, it was a belief that he could have magical control over the animals, and therefore the controlling uh, hunting was easier. This is a rock painting, and the rock painting this is whereby man painted the wall on the animals that he hunted. And this animal, by painting these animals, man believed that he could. Uh, uh, get the animals into control and therefore hunting was easier. Other feature is the religion and government. There was religion and government and when you say the religion and government, man performed rites and ceremonies by believing this could influence the natural forces, example the rain, drought and death. So man also buried the dead uh, with his tools and weapons. So this is was the belief that a uh, human being uh, to influence the the natural forces. The rights and also believes, for example, burying the dead using the tools, believe that he, uh, there is a life after death. So man uh, developed some laws in order, and this is the, in the government. The government, the people, they lived together, and therefore the laws and order could keep people together. Uh, this is a clear picture of a belief of burying the dead. Man could be uh, bury the dead, dead people they buried another species as a belief, meaning that they had religion. Uh, so we can summarize these three periods in uh, Stone Age period. The Stone Age period we say they are divided into three. Paleolithic period, which is also known as the Old Stone Age period. And uh, this is where they made the first stone 
tools invented. It was first invented in the Paleolithic uh, period. And we say this was known as the Old One tools. We also have the Mesolithic period. Meso means middle. And therefore this period is also known as Middle Stone Age period. The tools, bows and arrows for hunting were made. And it's, remember we said this period was characterized by the Homo erectus who invented fire. In the Neolithic period, which is also known as the New Age, we said Neo comes from the term, uh, Neo means new, therefore Neolithic period was the New uh, Age. And this, this is where he started farming using the tools. So for you to get the differences, I want you to watch this particular video to see the difference between Old Stone Age period and New Stone Age period, uh, Old Age period versus New Stone Age period. Hope you're going to enjoy that particular video. The Paleolithic versus Neolithic. To get this one in a nutshell, in Paleolithic, they were hunters and gatherers. In Neolithic, man settled farm communities, and this is known as the sedentary lifestyle. Man was a nomad, and on the other side, man was settled. On the Paleolithic, there are 20 to 30 people. They lived 20 to 30 people. Another feature is uh, women were equal. But on the other side, the status of women declined, and therefore man became the head and women became the helper. And the tools, there were tools that were made, and more possessions were found in the Neolithic. And also new technologies were made. The village leaders, they had the village leaders, and also domesticated animals. In the Paleolithic, the fire and also the clothing. So in the Old Saint period, you can also see the timeline of the same. The, from the Stone Age period to the Neolithic period. So this is a period of time that took more years. And we said it started from, hab, from Homo habilis, then Homo erectus. And then the Nidatul man, all the way to Homo sapiens sapiens who actually advanced agriculture during the Neolithic period. And they say uh, they can categorize into lower, middle and upper. The lower Paleolithic, this is actually the Old Stone period. The middle Paleolithic, this is the Middle Stone period. The upper Paleolithic, this is known as the Neolithic period. So as you conclude, uh, the human discovered farming during the Neolithic age. In the Neolithic, uh, this, this is known as the New Stone Age period. And uh, they settled in the river valleys around the 10,000 BC. And this is when they invented uh, farming during the Neolithic period. Uh, this one has come to the end of our lesson today. And I want to leave you with some assignment that you will try so that in the next lesson, we are going to start from here. So this question is just simple, one on one question. What were the economic activities of Homo sapiens? What were the economic activities of, of Homo sapiens? I know you have learned and enjoyed from our lesson today uh, that we had been having. For more information and feedback, get us through our Twitter handle at elimu underscore ke or our Facebook page at elimu tv. Watch and learn. Thank you.